It's an exciting day when you hire a new employee. You, you've done your homework, you've checked all their references, and their track record is stellar. You could not be happier with the new litigation paralegal that you just hired, and your future as a lawyer and as a law firm looks bright. But then what happens? The paralegal gets into the job, and pretty quickly you realize the paralegal just can't do the work. Some of the most basic tasks that you thought that they could do in their sleep, they just don't know how to do. And you end up doing their work for them. So you're left with a really difficult decision what to do about this because the person's nice, they're hardworking, they're genuine, they're overall a decent human being, and you don't like letting people go or firing them. That's the part of the job that sucks. So what do you do? Two ideas. Number one, be radically candid with the person. You need to sit down with them as soon as possible and tell them about the issues that you have. You need to sit down and tell them, the task that I gave you took all week. It should have taken 45 minutes. And it's a very simple task, and I had to basically redo all of your work for you. When we hired you, we thought that you had the ability to do this type of task in your sleep. And so I have concerns about your ability to function here. That's the type of conversation that you need to have. Be open and honest and radically candid with your employee because you owe them that. Secondly, once you get done with that, you need to ask yourself, would you enthusiastically rehire this person if you had the chance? So if you could go back to the day that you hired them, and you go back and make the decision all over again, would you enthusiastically hire them for the position? And if the answer is no, and in many cases the answer is uh, not no chance in hell, then you've got to make a decision to cut the cord relatively quickly. And that leads me to the third tip, is the biggest mistake that I've made as a business owner is I've, I've kept people in a position for way too long when I knew that they, it was just not going to work out, that they weren't suited for the position, either due to dishonesty or lack of skills and ability. could be anything. There have been times that we've had people uh, who are hardworking, genuine, honest, but they just don't have the skills. Hanging on to somebody for too long is the biggest mistake that I've made as a, as a business owner. When you know things are not going to work out, you have to let the people know and be kind and compassionate when you let them go. Let them know that you appreciate their hard work. You appreciate that they're honest in everything that they've done for the firm, but things just didn't work out. Do not make this a debate because you will never win that debate. So those are the three tips that I have. Number one, be radically candid with employees about any uh, their, their deficiencies in their work. Number two, ask yourself, would you enthusiastically enthusiastically rehire this person if you had the chance to do it again. And number three, instead of letting things drag on too long, make the decision early on when you know it's not going to work out to let the person go and do it in a way that is kind and compassionate. Those are the three tips for evaluating employees and whether or not to let them go. That's it for today. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We give tips every single day about marketing and managing a law firm. And if you like this video, please share it with a lawyer or some friends who you think might get value from it. I'll see you tomorrow.